Adding and subtracting mixed time. The easiest way to add and subtract mixed time is to set them up like an arithmetic problem and to borrow and carry numbers as needed. The trick, though, is to remember that when you borrow or carry units, you have to convert them. Let's look at a few examples so that you can get the idea. What is 8 hours minus 20 minutes? First, we'll set it up as a subtracting problem. We need to line up the units. Since they are separate units, we will not write them on top of each other. Now, we'll work from right to left just like a regular subtraction problem. But we cannot subtract 20 minutes from nothing, so we need to borrow. Notice, though, that we are borrowing one hour and bringing it over to the minutes column. That means we have to think one hour is how many minutes? 60. So, when we borrow one hour, we are borrowing 60 minutes. Now we can subtract both columns. And that's it. Final answer. 7 hours, 40 minutes. It took 9 days for seedlings to appear after the seeds were planted. Then it took three weeks and two days for the plants to reach five inches. How long is this total? We must first write this as an addition problem, lining up the weeks and the days. Next, we add the days column. Nine plus two equals eleven days. But that is more than a week. Thus, we need to carry the remainder. There are seven days in a week, so 11 days is one week plus four days. We'll carry the one week to the weeks column and put down four in the days column and we'll finish by adding the weeks column. One week plus three weeks equals four weeks. Final answer, four weeks, four days. Joe ran a mile in seven minutes, 18 seconds. If he could take off 30 seconds from his time, what would his new time be? First, we must set up a subtraction problem. Remember to line up the minutes and seconds. Since we can't subtract 30 from 18, we must borrow from the 7 minutes. Remember, though, that we are borrowing 1 minute which is actually 60 seconds. Therefore, we'll need to add 60 seconds to 18. 18 plus 60 equals 78, so we'll change it to 78 seconds. Now, we're ready to subtract each column. And that's it. Final answer, 6 minutes, 48 seconds. Let's recall what you have learned so far.